Hello, ninth graders. We now move on to the third part of Heron's formula. In this video lesson, we will be solving questions from exercise 12.2. 12.2 is based on application of Heron's formula. We have completed 12.1 and 12.2 are problems based on area of quadrilateral. Let us have a look at it. In this quadrilateral PQRS, if PQ, PS and side QS is known to us, then we can calculate the area of triangle PQS using Heron's formula. Likewise, even the area of triangle QRS can be calculated by Heron's formula. Add up the areas of these two triangles, you will get area of quadrilateral PQRS. These are the images of the questions that you are going to be solving from exercise 12.2. These are all quadrilaterals and you have to calculate their areas by using Heron's formula. Even if you look at this 1, 2, 3, 4, it's a four-sided figure. These are all quadrilaterals. Let us look into how to solve these problems. This is the first question from 12.2. This is the question and based on this question, you have to draw the diagram. The diagram is not given to you. So angle C is mentioned as 90 degree and they have given you these values. So DC is 5 meter, BC is 12 meter, BD is the diagonal, but BD is not mentioned. The length is not mentioned. Then they have given you the value of AB and AD is given as 8 meter. After having drawn the quadrilateral, you have to decide you want to calculate the area of which triangle first. Do you need to find the area of triangle BCD first or triangle ABD? The choice is yours. What we have done here is we have first found out the value of BD by using Pythagoras theorem. Because it is a right angle triangle, so BD square is DC square plus BC square, that is 5 square plus 12 square. You get it as BD square as 169, so the value of BD is 13 meter. After getting this as 13 meter, you find out the area of ABD by using which formula? Heron's formula, because the three sides are known to us. Let us have a look. Now, this is a continuation. They have calculated S, where S is equal to 15 meter, 9 plus 8 plus 13 by 2. Substitute the value of the semi perimeter in this formula, and you get the answer as 6 root 35. 15 into 7 into 6 into 2. So, 15, you can write it as 5 into 3. And this 6, you can split it as 3 into 2. Then take the common values, find out their square root, get the answer. You'll get it as 6 root 35. I want you to calculate this on your own. This can be done even in a different way. Now, root 35, I have found out the value of square root of 35 by division method. Students, you can even leave the answer till this step. That is area of triangle ABD is 6 root 35. But in case you want to calculate it further, this is how you do it. Square root of 35. This is by division method. You have done this in class 8. 5 fives are 25, balance is 10. Then you have to add 5 here. You remember doing this? then you get this as 10. You have to add one number out here. So 109 plus 9, multiply that by 9 and so on and so forth. So I'm sure you're not new to this. You have learned this in lower class, how to find the square root of a number by division method. Now when you solve it, you get 5.91 up to two digits. So when you multiply, this is what you get. 
So this is the area of triangle ABD. Now let us calculate the area of triangle BDC. Now area of triangle BDC is by using area of a right angle triangle that is half into base into height. That is half into 12 into 5. So you get the answer as 30 meters square. So area of triangle ABD by Heron's formula and area of triangle BCD by using the formula half into base into height or half into product of the perpendicular sides. Add the two values. This is the approximate area of quadrilateral ABCD. Students, do not forget to write down the name of the quadrilateral in either clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. You have to name it correctly. You are aware that you cannot write this as A here, B and then C here. So move in a specific order. Now let's look at another question from this exercise 12.2. Question 5 from 12.2. Again, this is quite a popular question. A rhombus-shaped field has green grass for 18 cows to graze. So I have drawn a rhombus out here. This entire uh, area is for the cows to graze, for 18 cows to graze. If each side of the rhombus is 30 meter, so 30 all the sides will be the same. You know that in a rhombus, all sides are equal. And the longer diagonal is 48. I have taken this AC as 48 meter. How much area of grass will each cow be getting? So if this is shared by 18 cows, this entire area, how much of land will each cow get to graze? So you have to calculate the area of the rhombus. So for that, what we have done is we have found out the area of triangle ABC by using Heron's formula. Then the same value you will get for triangle ADC. If you look at it, AB is 30, BC is 30, AC is 48. So the answer that you get out here is 432 meters square. So if the area of triangle ABC is 432, the area of triangle ADC will also be 432 because they share the same values. Both the triangles are equal in area because 30, 30, 48, 30, 30, 48. So you need not use Heron's formula again for finding out the area of triangle ABC. You are all already aware of the steps. Find out the semi-perimeter, use the Heron's formula, substitute, and then find out the square root of the numbers which are inside. So when you find out the square root, root 3 into root 3 is 3, root 6 into root 6 is 6, square root of 24 into square root of 24 is 24. So you get the answer as 432 meters square. Multiply 432 into 2 or add it twice, you get the area of this quadrilateral or the area of this rhombus ABCD. So 18 cows are grazing on a land of 864 meters square. So if you want to find out the field available for one cow to graze, it will be 864 divided by 18 that is 48 meters square. So each cow on this land will get 48 meters square of the field to graze. I hope this uh, question is clear to you. This is the solution. Go through it and make a note of it. Try to solve this on your own because by now I am sure you would know how to find out the semi-perimeter, how to use it in Heron's formula, and most important, how to find out the square root of the number. Now we move on to another question, 
from exercise 12.1. Question number four, I'm not going in a specific order, just randomly taking the questions. Uh, in fact, I'm just moving from easy to difficult. A triangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the same area. If the sides of the triangle are 26, 30 and 28 centimeter, and the parallelogram stands on the base 28 centimeter, find the height of the parallelogram. Now, there are two images put out here. You can draw the figure either in this way or you can even draw it like this. What you have to be very careful about is the base has to be 28 because it is mentioned the base is 28. So here also I have taken 28. And the sides of the triangle is 26 and 30. And the parallelogram and the triangle, both of them, have the same area. That is something that you have to remember and keep that in mind when you're doing this quest. So that is quite an important statement that the area of this parallelogram, I have not named it, and the area of this triangle, both the areas are the same. So this is just a hint that is given. I have not jotted down all the steps. I want you to do this on your own. These are the clues that are given to you. So. The first thing that you're going to solve here is the area of this triangle. You can name the triangle as ABC and you know that the side opposite to capital A is uh, small a and this will be small b and this will be small c. So find out the semi-perimeter by adding all the three sides and dividing by two. After that you will apply Heron's formula and then you get the area as 336 centimeters squared. Do it on your own and see whether this is the answer that you're getting after you find out the area of this triangle by Heron's formula. Now, it is mentioned that the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the parallelogram. You already know the area of the triangle by Heron's formula, that is 336. Area of a parallelogram is base into height. This is the formula. It is not half base into height, it is base into height. The base you are aware is 28 because it is mentioned here, take the base as 28. So 336 equal to 28 into height and then you calculate the height, you get it as 12 centimeter. So this is the final answer, area of the triangle is 336 centimeter square and the height of the parallelogram is 28 centimeter. You could draw any one of the figure while solving this question. This is also a very, very important question. Make a note of it. Now, this is the homework from exercise 12.2. I have not dealt with all the questions from 12.2, just a few. In the next video lesson, you will see few more questions. Find the area of quadrilateral ABCD and details of that quadrilateral is given. We will draw the quadrilateral according to this information. Nothing is mentioned about any angle being 90 degree. So see how to draw the quadrilateral and probably you may have to use Heron's formula for both the triangles. Draw it, try to solve it on your own. Do the homework in your assignment sheet or in your notebook. In the next video lesson, we will be completing few more questions from exercise 12.2. Until then, goodbye.